I find the best way to explain to patients why a taper is indicated is to introduce them to the risk-benefit calculator. The risk-benefit calculator is just a way of weighing the benefits of the medication against the risks. When assessing benefits, it's important not just to assess the patient's subjective pain relief, but also the patient's functionality. If a patient endorses pain relief but is spending all day in bed watching TV, this may not be an optimal outcome. Involve family members in the risk-benefit calculator. Patients on chronic opioid therapy often lose the ability to assess their own responses to opioids because of the effects of opioids on the brain. Patients often overestimate the efficacy of these drugs and underestimate their adverse effects. Patients, family members, and significant others provide an important objective data point on how the patient is actually doing on opioids. A 2016 survey of people on opioids long-term for chronic pain reported that only one-third of users said they were addicted, whereas more than half of people living with them suspected addiction. Family members were also far more likely to say the drugs damaged the user's physical and mental health, finances, and personal relationships. Opioids taken long-term can lead to a number of adverse events, from depression to increased pain to addiction to death. But one risk of chronic opioid therapy that often goes ignored is simple tolerance. Tolerance is the state of needing more and more of the opioid to get the same results. Once a patient develops tolerance, that patient probably needs to come off of chronic opioid therapy because no amount of opioids will be enough to cover their pain. Perhaps the most beguiling side effect of long-term opioid use is an increase in pain, also known as opioid-induced hyperalgesia. Some patients on opioids will experience an increase in pain over time, including experiencing pain in areas of the body where they originally had no pain. This phenomenon is not well understood, but has been clinically appreciated and validated in human and animal experimental conditions. For a more complete discussion of the risks associated with chronic opioid therapy, see Weighing the Risks and Benefits of Chronic Opioid Therapy in American Family Physician, published in 2016. This article, co-authored by me and colleagues, includes specific language for how to talk to patients about the risks of long-term opioid use. Let's use Laura's case as an example. After five years of escalating opioid doses, not only was her cumulative pain no better, but her ability to function was worse. My husband would say things or he'd want me to do certain things, but then I just could not get that motivation. Like, it almost felt like, like I didn't have total control of myself. In other words, according to our risk-benefit calculator, the adverse effects of chronic opioid therapy had exceeded the medical benefit. Once we've determined that the adverse effects of the opioids for a given patient outweigh the benefits, we discuss our rationale with patients. For our patient Laura, we might say something like, Laura, I think we need to get you off of opioids because they're doing more harm than good. Your pain is no better than before you started on opioids and may even be worse. More importantly, you're less functional than you used to be spending most of the day in bed. Your husband reports you are detached from family life. Opioids can do that, even when we're not aware of them doing that. For all those reasons, we're going to work together to slowly taper you off those medicines. Invariably, many patients will protest the taper and endorse all the ways the opioids are helping them. Our job is to remain empathic yet resolute and communicate to our patients that a careful risk-benefit assessment on our part has led to this treatment plan which represents compassionate care. We must communicate to our patients that to continue opioids under these circumstances would be to cause them harm. And since we care about them and want what is best for them, we won't do that.